Hey guys, so this is another update video and this time it's for Maria and I've actually received a bunch of footage from a bunch of guys after the last uh, video so thank you very much. Uh, you know who you are. Every single one of you that actually gave me footage for this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much guys. And uh, well first of all let's talk about the elephant in the room that Maria is not doing a lot of damage and there is uh, I did get a response from the from the admins about that because they talked to the devs and all that good stuff and uh, they pretty much told me that that the damage that she does from her passive doing to shields uh, is not really shown on the damage that is done. So you have to actually see how much damage she actually does to shields. So I, I do agree with that because I do see that she does a lot more damage on shields and per se and lots more targets and all that good stuff. But there's another thing that I noticed that if the target doesn't have any shields and they received the damage it is reflecting that the damage that is done so that is strange uh, but I, I'm gonna show you right now uh, a fight here uh, with Owl thank you Owl for this awesome footage here uh, in that situation so you can actually see that Maria is actually doing some decent amount of damage and she is doing her damage over and over again when other uh, other uh, heroes are using their skill check it out So yeah, uh, that, that that was actually interesting because um, uh, the entire team didn't do as much damage as her. So she was in, that, that's the pretty much the one of the only fights that I've seen her do a lot of damage, and that c comes to show how much how many heroes in the game actually do a lot of damage in that situation. So that is very powerful in that uh, respect. However, after after that amazing fight. I haven't been able to fight a, find a good fight with Maria. It's, I In PvE, I have not seen anything. The bosses, she doesn't do very well because they have to... Sh apparently, they have to have shields. But I don't believe she, they have to have shields for her to actually do a good amount of damage. However, the other fights pretty much came like this. And now I'm going to show you... Uh, a uh, fight from Gramps. Well, he he attacked me on war, and he let me know, "Hey, I attacked you. Check it out." <laughs> and surprisingly, uh, this fight actually has Maria 
and Haley on the on the same uh, fight there. So you can actually see the comparison because we do have those heroes available uh, to summon right now. So check it out. I can make it through. I'm My so sword good. shall only be Yeah, uh, as you can see, Haley, uh, I was not, uh, I I did not make a mistake by calling her a must-have. She is, if used correctly, she is a very powerful hero and can counter-attack and all that good, counter the enemy really nicely. So, and Maria did not did not do much there in that situation, uh, uh, in, in my opinion. Maybe together, uh, when she's, they're healing, they're breaking, she, she's helping eliminate the shield and she is going to go for the life and things like that so yeah that that, that was interesting to see and uh, definitely to show how powerful Haley is in general in that situation and last but not least the <laughs> some of the best footage that i have is pretty much me myself fighting an arena and i'm gonna explain why here like, I mean, I, I attack anybody that has a hero that I want, uh, yeah, to actually attack. Yeah, that, that, that's, uh, yeah, that, that, I'm going to attack you if, if you if you set up a, a, a team here. For example, I attacked here Diana, and she did put uh, our our Maria there. But let, let me sh first show you the, the time that she actually attacked me uh, with Maria here. Let's see, I don't actually have more fights here, so let's just show you this one. Uh, since we do, since this is my fight, so she's not doing a lot of damage here. But let's see how she actually does here versus my most powerful team. Well, my most powerful team without agony, because in in this war that that I mean in this arena they eliminated agony. So yeah, that's not cool. So anyhow, as you can see, it's Maria, ten freaking K defense. I mean. If you didn't know, Diana has like 430k of power oh, team, no. so very powerful, very scary player. So yeah. So let's see here. Uh, as you can see, she's been turned green, and she has a lot of overload. So uh, that is something that I did notice that Maria, she has to activate her skill. If not, she's gonna be completely useless. The, 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 that's something I noticed. So if she has a bunch of overload right off the bat, and uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be a problem. The good thing is that she does revive, unlike Lorenzo here. She finally activated here, but uh, she, yeah, uh, Diana had bad luck because in this case, uh, she actually had the rose from Freya suck and added a bunch of overload here. But still, let me see if we can do it slow here. Pass to turn. She goes off, a little bit of damage, 3k, 4, 2k uh, to the shields. Again, th th that's a lot of damage to the shields, obviously. But will it make a difference? That's the th that's the main thing that, that you have to take into account with fights. 
when you add a hero, will that hero change the that uh, help you help you defeat the enemy, uh, help you change your destiny and actually w win here? Let me activate a little bit faster. So that's the real question. So let's see. You see, every other hero that, that is on this team, you can feel that they're doing something. And I'm, I'm still not feeling what Maria's doing. I'm still seeing a bunch of shields in the entire freaking team. And it's not pretty, pretty much her doing the el shield eliminating. It's it's pretty much the stones uh, from uh, from Zeus that's actually break, uh, eliminating the shields here. So let's see. Da, 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 da. She activates again. So let's see. Nudge when she. Let's see here. So pretty much the fight is over, and and she's not the one that actually eliminated the the enemies. That's what I'm trying to get at. Boom. Oh, and by the way, her 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 passive does crit if you if you saw that. So that's something to take into account. So yeah, I, I'm. I'm seeing every other hero here is doing their job, like doing a bunch of damage. Um, I, she does do her passive, but it's not like groundbreaking or anything like that. That is something that you have to take into account. For sure, guys. Da, 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 da. Like, like, um, like this guy, Arthur, he's protecting the team. He's stunning. He's do his passive is doing a bunch of uh, more, more damage to the single target. And things like that. So yeah, that is that is something you have to take into account for sure. Now that was th that was uh, Diana attacking me with her, and as I said, <laughs> Diana d did have Maria on her team, and since she's since she's attacking me so much lately, why not? I attacked her, and I was successful. I was surprised to be. Let me show you how the power difference between me and Diana. I mean, look, I'm 300, almost 50, and she's 440. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the power difference is on another level. I mean, yeah, uh, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, so, if 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 there's a good moment to actually test a Maria, if she's, like, super powerful versus red teams, this is it. Yeah, for sure. So, here are all my guys are doing a bunch of... Well, I'm actually impressed that Freya did this much damage. She's not supposed to do this much damage. And Maria, yeah, that, that is, yeah, yeah, that that is. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy, Arthur. Three, almost, yeah, but almost three three fifty. Uh, this guy, the new guy, Lubu. Lubu is. Uh, oh my God, come on. And Lubu here is 216k. I mean, yeah, that is that is relevant. Anyway, let's check. Let's see what actually happened here in this situation. So let's see. Let's uh, speak speak this a little bit. Which weapon did, did she put for her? Okay, her own weapon. All right. Fire to da, 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 da. So right off the bat, uh, she is so linked in the situation. So yeah, uh, out of all these monster of heroes. Which, by the way, 12k. Yeah, between all, all the, her other heroes, uh, she's gonna have a. Uh, yeah, it's a big difference in stats there. So let's see. So, I mean, I don't have any other choice. I have to attack Boo Boo. And whoever uh, is so linked with him, uh, I I have to try to kill. So that's the my only move here. Da, 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 da. Let's see. So that's pretty much that's pretty much a plan with any team that you actually use soul link anyway. So see that. So this is this is actually a nice comparison between two heroes that are supposed to actually. Oh, so now she's dead. <laughs> so yeah. So that's what happened. So this is a good comparison between Maria that is supposed to break a lot of shields and uh, Raphael, which by far is like. The best shield breaker in the entire frick. I mean, the only shield breaker in the entire freaking game. Like straight up breaking shields. Uh, yeah, that, uh, Raphael is a monster in that in that respect. So as you can see, Raphael is still alive. She still has a bunch of shields. And uh, our Mar Maria, yeah, not so much. So let's see. I keep doing it. I keep doing. It. I mean, I don't have any other choice. I have to do it this way. Although, like Soul Link and Soul Link and Soul Link. If I didn't have um, 
Gillian here, I would have been in big trouble. Because uh, usually pretty much all the fights that, that uh, have taunters, you need a soul link or or stunner to make him not stun. But the thing is that he's immune pretty much he's pretty much immune for stuns from time to time. So it's not gonna help you out a lot there. Alright, finally you got Raphael. The main hero that I want to kill in the entire freaking team is Raphael by chance because yeah, that. Because she's gonna start reviving everybody. I don't I do not want that. I do not want that. I want her dead. Dead as soon as possible. And uh, my team versus a 430k uh, defense team. Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting all my heroes to be alive for long. And I got Gillian stunned, so that's going to be a problem if I don't get her out of there. So let's so let's see her pa the passive for Maria here. When I actually activate someone, let's see how much we can do here. I activated here and. I created shields and then I got a little bit of damage, so it's not exactly it's not exactly game changing. That's what I'm trying to get at. I lost two heroes. That is a problem. I need to recuperate as soon as possible, and uh, reviving my gal here. I'm um, uh, best that I'm able to actually create a bunch of stones because she is holding the stone weapon. Since if I revive a hero that with, with a stone weapon, it's gonna put a bunch of stones in the in, in the board. That's one of the tricks that I have in, when when playing with my team. And if I get Gillian as well, revive, I'm gonna create a bunch of uh, uh, stones as well. These these little stones that that connect by four because that's her plus five, so that's really useful. I really need to kill that Raphael as soon as possible. That, 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 that's probably the, the thing that I'm thinking about, for sure. And making her slow with with um, with a Freya there, because she it's all the, that overload. So that's one way you can actually deal with her. But I do have Lubu, and Lubu is a pain. Lubu is a big pain. I I, I did say that he is a must-have, but I didn't I didn't really focus on how freaking annoying and powerful he is on defense. I mean, yeah, I said that I did mention a few comments that I said Red doesn't need a taunter. I mean, yeah, maybe Red doesn't need a taunter, but it is a definitely a big upgrade for for Red teams on defense. The only thing, the only reason I did not summon him is because I summoned uh, this guy and Freya. In other words, uh, Harold and Freya, two plus five, both of them, and finally Lubu's dead. So now I'm free to actually kill this ki these guys. And Raphael being the last hero is not uh, not a good result for me. So I need to kill Raphael as soon as possible. No questions asked. If not, it's going to be a big problem. Scarred revive. If she revives Lubu, it's, it's a big problem for me for sure. So I need to kill her as soon as possible. And I was able to do it. So yeah. Uh, in, in that fight specifically, it felt like... I was playing versus four incredibly powerful heroes, and Maria didn't really... It really didn't feel like she was a threat in the, the entire fight, so that's what I'm trying to get at. And also, and also uh, I'm not sure why she actually added Emir here. Emir is not really doing anything, and the only red hero in the team is this guy. Uh, so yeah, th that wasn't a good choice there. So I I think she she noticed that and decided to put uh, Damon instead. So between Amir and Damon, I think Damon is an upgrade to the team for sure. In that case, but let's see, let's see, guys. <sighs> My God, maybe I should attack. Ah, I'm not gonna attack the end again. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, anyhow, guys, I <laughs> in this case, uh. Now I can finally answer you if she is a must-have or not. Well, she is definitely, definitely, definitely not a must-have hero for sure. I mean, uh, I her, on paper her abilities sound amazing, but I, I'm not really seeing her like, uh, oh my god, I have to have her. If not, I can't play. Remember, must-haves are heroes that that uh, if you don't have them, you're not able to play the game uh, correctly, and you're able to play the game correctly without Maria, for sure. However, if you do plan to get Maria, you have to get her plus one. This plus one, actually doing the extra damage, 
and uh, uh, removing the, the stuns from the hero to the left of you can be game changing for you in this situation. So if you're going to get Maria, you have to get her plus one for sure. The plus three is, yeah, a highly big upgrade for her because she is going to give uh, more attack to your team and all that good stuff. And finally, this is the last one. You you're really gonna and you're really gonna need this because when people see Maria, I I've seen people wanting to kill her like as soon as possible, like crazy for some reason. So yeah, this is definitely awesome and extra damage to seals and all that good stuff. I think I, I um I think she's gonna get buffed in the future. Yeah, I think Maria is gonna get buffed in the future because yes, something something. I mean, yeah, she's definitely needs to get buff for sure, guys. So something I did forget to mention is about her weapon, and her weapon is all right for her specifically. But there's some things that I did notice that her HP is kind of low, and the refinement for some reason says 12% HP, which is suspect because uh, the thing is that this weapon is very similar uh, to Emir's weapon which uh, has a bunch of HP, by the way, and refinement by 15%, so I found it really strange. But uh, you do have to take into account that Amir's weapon is the same abil uh, the same skill. Uh, however, Amir is a slow hero, and uh, Maria is an average speed hero, so this that type of uh, skill In actually is uh, better for an average speed hero, for sure. Uh, however, uh, this less HP is really suspect because the thing is that she is a hero that uh, when she goes out, she gives shields to the entire freaking team. So the higher HP she has, the more shields she's going to give to the entire team. And I found it really strange that the refinement is 12% instead of 15%. Maybe that's a typo. And uh, her own HP from the weapon, it's so much less, like 1k instead of uh, like the amount that I just showed you right there in the situation. So this means that most than likely if you're fighting against uh, a team that uh that is red and has gillian uh that means maria most likely is always going to be targeted uh by the second target of the you know of, of the lifelink so that is a really big uh weakness that she may have in that respect and also she's going to give sh less shields to the entire freaking team and that's in situation uh so yeah and uh the thing is that uh for this type of weapon some um, uh, that that would be good for her, but honestly, I still I still give my recommendation as I always do. Just give me Raphael's weapon because the thing is that uh, Maria's weapon that weapon is gonna be good for only her, but Raphael's weapon Raphael's weapon is going to be uh, good for her for for Maria and good for any other hero in the entire freaking game that able you're able to equip this weapon. You, it's gonna be able to protect it and give all that good stuff and a, a, actually add a bunch of defense. And and even more HP than her own weapon in that case. So, uh, yeah. So, so I, I think that this weapon is a lot better for Maria specifically. It's going to help her out a lot. Survive a lot more with this actual defense, as I said. And she's still going to get the 50% uh, shield in that situation. It is it is a coin toss because it's 33% chance every single turn that passes. But still, I think it's she's going to get a lot more out of it in that situation. I don't recommend you to give her Emir's weapon because she's only going to get 25% shield while she's going to get 50 here with this weapon, Raphael. And that weapon is going to use it for every single intelligence hero you want to protect the entire freaking game. But if you decide to, t to get this weapon, Weapon. I mean, it is going to be good for Maria, but only for Maria. That That's the big problem. So I highly recommend you to get uh, Raphael's weapon in this situation for sure. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave them in the comments and we'll talk about it. Right? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.